rough looks. I think you've got to agree, that's pretty impressive. Um, this is Rogie Falls, uh, up on the part of the North Coast 500 route. Uh, but absolutely stunning, stunning waterfall, unbelievable place. Um, so the salmon are going to be jumping up there in the next few weeks. So it's, it's unbelievable how they actually managed to get up there. Um, but I've seen it myself, I've managed to get some photographs over the last few while off from actually getting up. Um, so very, very impressive. If you are coming along the North Coast 500 route, certainly give it a wee visit. It's certainly worth a wee try. Um, but just gorgeous. The noise and the rumble you can actually hear from the car park at the top. Um, so I'm here today, going to do a day in the woods. Um, going to do a long walk into the actual woods, uh, to the actual campsite and everything as well. So I'm going to get cracking on that just now. I uh, got a wee bit of lunch, quite a lot of work to do in the actual shelter. Um, so just going to head off up the road just now and I'll uh, hook up with you once I'm actually at the shelter itself. So thanks for joining me in the woods again today. Um, it's been an absolutely amazing day. Hopefully you actually heard some of the audio out at the Rocky Falls. It's just so noisy out there when you're actually sitting there close to it. Um, but spectacular. Hopefully you enjoyed the actual footage. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, quite often you'll actually see this time of year, maybe a wee bit later, now a couple of weeks, just overrun with salmon. Um, even when I was there, I was actually getting a few, video, a few salmon jumping. Uh, but every time I turn the camera on, no salmon. Every time I turn the camera off, salmon. Uh, typical. Uh, so I might just actually try to finish off as much as I can on the actual shelter just now. So it's basically a case of on the sort of thinner ends, I'm just going to use rope. And then on the thicker ends, I'm going to use the actual uh, Scotch auger and pegs. Um, so I'll get cracking on that in a wee while. Uh, going to have some lunch in a wee while as well. Um, got some pollock, I think it is. 
uh, had a cracking fishing trip out in the kayak a wee while ago so it's a case of trying to get rid of as much as possible because we've got an excess amount in the actual fridge now. Uh, don't know if you can see the midges, there's midges crawling all over the place, it's just unbelievable this time of year. Um, but we are getting into the sort of colder time so hopefully they, they might sort of die away a wee bit. Uh, but as I said I'm just going to crack on just now, do another one of the actual um, poles themselves uh, and then get some lunch in the go. So here we are for a wee bit of lunch. So uh, as I said, I've got a, a rather good sort of collection of fish over the last few days uh, when I was out sea kayaking. Uh, so we're gonna cook up some fish just now. We're gonna try it two different ways. We're just gonna try it just actually, just normally cooked, uh, but also try it in a bit of flour as well. Uh, see what it's like. Everyone knows I'm not a very good cook, so I'm gonna give it my damn just. Um, the wood around here at the moment, everything is just absolutely sodden. Um, so I've ended up having to take out my own wood um, at the moment just to try and get a wee bit of a fire going. So hopefully the weather's not been too bad with you guys, but honestly it's been just unbelievable. Torrential rain. Okay, so we'll start off with a slightly bigger piece.
Okay, so that's me going. I'll get back to you once I've actually got that bit cooked up and then we'll try the wee bit with the flour as well. Now with the other bits, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just pop them in the actual bag with the flour. Really nice. Really nice. Just let me know in the comments below if you'd like to uh, actually see any of the kayak fishing. I uh, could do a video planning one more big trip just before the end of the season. But uh, just absolutely love it. It was really, really good. Just kayaking along and the next minute, boom, your rod goes down. So uh, as I said, just pop a comment below. Um, as I said, I'm going to be doing another trip anyway. So if you'd like to see, see what I get up to it. I brought a knife.
like them both about the same actually. Okay, so just gonna finish this and then get straight back to it. See you in a bit. So I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for the wall, whether I'm going to do weaving or not, but for a couple of steps just going to try it. Just now. Because that's going to take a, a huge amount of work to actually fill all that up. I think it's probably the only option. That's it, I've got a few wee bits and bobs there, so I'm just going to actually try and fill up as much as I can just now. Uh, and I also want to try and make a cable across there, uh, just so I can put my equipment just up in there, keep it dry. Okay, so, back in a bit. So thanks very much for watching if you've watched, um, thoroughly enjoyable as always, every day out in the woods is. Um, so in this one it was basically a case of just got the actual one side of it all sort of pegged out and tied up um, and all fixed etc. So there's a bit more stability about the whole frame now. Uh, managed to get the wee table, uh, just need to get some more resources actually on it just um, so to actually make it solid all the way across. But it'll be great just being able to sort of put my tools etc uh, up off the actual ground. 
um, it's so easy just to actually leave something or lose something etc in the actual grass because a lot of the stuff's actually camouflaged or, or darker colours. Um, so it's great, great, yeah, great being able to do that. Um, from the point of view of the weaving, uh, start the weaving, I think that's probably the way I'm going to go. Uh, so next time I come, I'm mainly going to be focused on weaving more than anything else. But uh, hopefully you're enjoying this. Bit of fun, bit of fun more than anything else. Uh, just give it a wee try. I've never done anything like this before. So I've done an A-frame uh, up at the actual bigger shelter, but this is the first time I've ever done something like this. Um, so just learning as I actually go. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button and any comments, any suggestions, uh, more than welcome to listen to, to any of you uh, that might be able to give a bit of advice um, on, on actually doing it and just sort of finishing it off. Can't wait to do an overnight or really looking forward to it. Um, I know it's going to be getting cold over the next few while but I actually prefer the, the sort of colder nights and even the snow etc. Uh, staying out in that, uh, a lot more fun, uh, less midges as well. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed it but as I said thanks very very much for watching take care and we will see you in the next one